Okay, the uh, game we're going to be looking at today is Pericles, designed by Mark Herman, published by GMT, and it came out in 2017. Now this video will be a little bit different than some of the other ones I've done before, I'm trying something kind of new. I may have to do this video in two parts. So what you're going to see before you as I speak is the uh, beautiful components of the game. So it's in the nature of a slide show, really, for part one. I have nothing negative to say about the game. The game is a masterpiece in every sense of the word. It's a beautiful game and a great simulation. It's really Mark Herman's magnum opus to the Peloponnesian War. So... All I want to say about the game are positive things. So what I'm going to say now has nothing to do with the game. I want to get out in the open uh, my prejudice, which is a highlight of the game, and it's not a negative of the game itself, and that's the use of bots or solitaire play. Now, I, might, I know Mark is very... Um, up on doing bots. He's done them for other games. I think he has one for Empire of the Sun and others, but uh, I'm not into bots. I play war games to play uh, human beings. So when I want to get um, across at the beginning is that that's a personal prejudice of mine. So if you don't mind playing with bots or solitaire, that, that's fine but I usually like to play human beings. And uh, Pericles is designed for four players. The only down comment I have will be in probably part two at the very end of the video. So if you don't want to hear me expound why I'm not into bots, you don't even need to see part one. Because part one, as I speak, is just going to be um, slides showing you the, uh, the beautiful components. So what it is, what is it about bots that I don't like in this game? Well, uh, Mark, in his uh, playbook, in the comprehensive example of play, which is quite good, lasts for several pages. The trouble is, um, his example of play, which I find is one of the most important things to do in a playbook, concerns having one human player and three bots. I would have far preferred a detailed example of play with four human players. Now that's just, again, my personal um, pet peeve about bots. And it is not a knock against the game. So whatever I have to say about the game now is going to be positive. And I have one regret, which will be in probably part two of the video. Okay. What's good about this game? Well, just about everything. It's, I think, one of the best game simulations on the Peloponnesian War, bar none. I think it's even better than Mark Herman's earlier game, Peloponnesian War. This is a study in that war. It's beautifully designed, cleverly designed. There's a lot of moving parts to it, and the learning curve to learn it is not easy, which is why I really didn't like the bot example of play. I want to learn this game. I want to know this game, but it's going to take time to learn it. And even after you've read the rules forward, backwards, everywhere, and I've read them twice now, um, you're still not really going to know how to play this game. You certainly won't know the optimum strategies. This is a game that has to be played to be understood. It's that complicated. <laughs> On the other hand, it's not that complicated, but there's a lot of moving parts. It's going to take you a while to learn this game. It's certainly taking me a while to play it, to learn it. And I haven't even played it with, human com uh, with humans yet. I've just played against the bots, learning the systems, and... Um, the learning curve is going to be 
quite daunting on this. So what's good about the game? Well, the cards. The cards are great. As I'm going to explain in the video portion, I'll show those how they work and tell you a, a, a general overview of the game. I will not attempt to teach you the game in a video. That's, that's almost impossible. Although I have seen several videos out there. There's one fellow out there, he's from Scotland, and he's got a great uh, teaching video. Mark Herman also has his own teaching video, but personally I find them very long, and Mark tends to get off on tangents and gets away from the goal of making it a teaching video. So I, I don't find it's the best teaching tool. I think other people have done better jobs on it. Two of the video reviewers, Marco Arnardo and Callendale, did extensive reviews of them, and I suggest you watch them. In part two of my video, I found that I reached the same conclusions that Marco reached and Callendale reached in their videos. But I won't get to that until I do part two of the video. So I'll end this part one, which is really just an overview of the components. As you can see, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll um, adjust the time of the uh, video. You might need more time to see the components, I don't know. I'm working it at about 15 seconds per slide right now, but they may have to change. So that's it for um, part one of this brief look at Pericles, the Peloponnesian War. Thank you for watching.